In this episode, we talk about ideally where video capability should sit within the corporate org chart. As video becomes a bigger um, element in corporate communication, you know, finally, uh, and I think the pandemic might have been, uh, it, it, the pandemic certainly was a huge accelerant. Where, what do you guys think about where the best place for a video department, an internal video department to sit within the organization? Is it in marketing? Is it in, in communications? What, what's your experience with that and what, what is your, what, what, how do you see that? Anita, what do you think? Yeah, so um, I really like this question. I would love I would love to be empowered to say where the video department sits in the organization. Um, so uh, the reason that I like this and that I, I hope that people hear it is because I think there's an there's a there's a the, I think the most important thing about video and people who work in video production is that you know, as we've been talking about, they're creatives and creative people should be with other innovative thinkers. So if you're in a corporate environment and there's a team that's doing innovative thinking and they are doing creative development work, um, which may not necessarily be, you know, how we typically think of creative, like maybe they're doing, um, you know, user design work or they're doing product development, that type of thing. I think that sitting with those types of teams is would would be really beneficial for video teams. So it doesn't necessarily automatically have to be with marketing. I think you know putting innovators together would be beneficial. Um, and I also think that if there isn't a team like that in in your corporate environment, putting your teams where the person who is able to get the team money really cares about video and understands the value of it to the company. Um, somebody who is going to be a big promoter of video production and has, even if they don't have a, a, a deep understanding of video production, has a general understanding of the importance of high quality video production. Because otherwise, the, the, if you have a supervisor or if you have somebody who's holding the purse strings who you know, has many departments under them and video may end up at the bottom of the rung and get the least amount of money when really, you know, video is, that is, you know, how you show yourself to the world. So there really should be a very real consideration in who you, where you see the video department to make sure that the video department can thrive and innovate and show the best of what your company has to offer. Oh, that yeah, that's awesome. That's uh, that is really interesting, Scott. You've been in a bunch of different organizations, and so probably have seen a bunch of different configurations, and you know, maybe maybe any models of success there. Well, I don't think any organization, unless you're at a broadcast or cable television network, I mean, very few uh, organizations are organized the same. So you always have these weird dynamics of like, why is that group reporting to that team when it should be in the consumer facing group, whether it's marketing or creative or, but I would say that the biggest red flag would be if you want the least amount of impact, then create a silo around that person. Because if they're not, to Anita's point, if they're not in an ecosystem that's creative, then they're going to die on the vine and they're not going to be, they're not going to be thriving. So um, if you have multiple video personalities or personnel or divisional departments, uh, then that's one thing. But if you have a single uh, department that houses videographers or, or editors, they should be with a creative staff, full stop. And that may flow up into marketing, but it shouldn't flow up into, I don't know, HR or some other, you know, but we could all find organizations that would screw that one up pretty good. Thank you, Scott and Anita. I think as corporations get deeper into their digital transformations 
and video's power is more recognized for what it needs to be, the in-house video studio will probably move around more in corporations' org charts. But I think the big takeaway here is that creatives thrive in creative environments, but if they're siloed away from the biz functions that they're supposed to support, they'll have reduced impact within the organization. Thanks again to my very creative and insightful panelists, Anita Allison and Scott Williams, and stay tuned for more from Pickerel Pie's Corporate Film School.